welcome to Astro Live Chat. Hopefully Instagram doesn't knock me off, but I should have some copyright free music going on right now. And I'm hearing it for the first time, just like you are, so I don't hate it. The Moon Scribe says, hey Jess, how are you? I'm good, babe. I feel really good today. Thank you so much for asking. I really appreciate it. You guys know I love that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Shez Honey in a Teacup says, I love the eyeshadow. Girl, it is this. I just opened this up. It's NYX Glitter Brilliance for face and body professional makeup. And I picked this up because you guys know I was doing a meditation last week and I legit like, let me tell you, I legit was in the middle of my meditation and I picked my head up and I saw this like sparkling glitter and I, it, it was crazy because I was actually reaching for my phone to take a picture of it because I was having like a really emotional like night and I was looking at, you know, I checked into the news, I was looking at the news and what was going on and I typically like to pull myself away from like TVs and stuff. For those of you guys that are just turning, turning in, we're just getting started. I'm just talking while giving everyone a chance to, to join in and then we'll do Astro Live Chat. And of course I have intuitive messages that I pulled that I'll be sharing with you guys. But anyways, so I was sitting there at night. I typically, I don't watch TV. Like I don't own a TV in my house. But I, um, I tuned into the news and I was like watching, you know, what's been going on in the world. And it made me so emotional seeing you know the fires in California and just think everything that's going on in the world lately with the environment like that's a sensitive spot for me as the environment and us taking care of the environment and us taking care of each other um, I'm huge on environmentalism environmentalism I'm, I'm huge on love and light so the LGBTQ uh, community is something else that I'm a huge advocate for but um not that there's like you know that's a focus right now but it just had me so emotional this week um, or, or late last week, so I went to go meditate on it and go pray on it. And I, at the end, I was gonna take a picture and post it on my Instagram in order to share it with you guys because the video that I posted was kind of intense, emotionally intense for you guys to see, but I felt like it needed to be seen with the fires in Cali and LA. And um, when I went to grab my phone and take a picture, that's when I saw the glittering gold. And well, I had seen it with my physical eyes, but I didn't think that I would be able to, to, to capture that. And I actually second guessed it. I wasn't sure if I had moved my head because I, when I pray, I keep my head down to the ground. And when I lifted my head up, I almost had these like little sparks in front of my, like, it, it wasn't like spark, you know, like when you see kind of sparks, it was, but it wasn't in front of my eyes. It was by the plant and it was by the skull. What are you doing, Franklin? <laughs> He's got a little thing stuck to his eyelash and he can't find it so he's just <laughs> I wish you guys could see us right now you little knucklehead did you get it good for you um yeah so um so when I saw it when I saw that glitter I was like oh that was weird but maybe it was this I'm so skeptical and then I took a picture to post it up on my Instagram and when I post when I took the video the boomerang um, it wasn't until afterwards I saw what it was that I saw actually physically, but it was this little orb kind of circling and then I saw this glitter, you know, these little glitter flecks. So that was in real life. Anyways, you were asking me what's on my eyeshadow or what's my eyes, like my eyeshadow. It's legit, it's glitter, but I was inspired by that moment to get glitter and to put it on. So that's why. Always destined. Um, for greatness says, I've been in so much physical pain and discomfort today. I'm hoping this chat helps pull me out. I'm sorry to hear that, babe. That really sucks. I'm sorry. Sending you love and light. Kate Metzer says, doesn't that scare you? It doesn't, but sometimes, um, at least in this apartment that I'm currently at, although I'm moving tomorrow <laughs> um, um, to my more permanent apartment, and I talked about that in a live not a live chat but I did a um, life update that I didn't edit and upload yet but I'm hoping to but I found a permanent spot that I really really loved here in New Orleans and I signed the lease on it and whatever but while I was here in this apartment I at my altar I don't stay there for like not that I don't stay there longer than I have to but I I 
you know, when I'm done, I really wrap it up because New Orleans in general is so spiritually active as far as like actual spirits. And it always does seem like there is something kind of lingering. The place that I'm in right now actually has a history to it. And I'm not going to talk about that history until I move, move, move out of it simply because of like safety reasons. But this place does have a history, have a history to it. There's books written on it and I live here. So, um, yeah, it's I, when I'm in my prayer, my meditation, I, I don't want to like talk about it now, but I do feel things that I, not that they're negative, but I just wouldn't um, keep around longer than I have to. And then I, you know, when my meditation is over, my prayer is over. So when I saw those glittering lights, I actually was not intimidated. I wasn't scared. They felt more positive and protective and loving than anything. It almost was like an angel. So I've seen an angel before, but it wasn't like this. This was totally different. All right. Um, so that being said, you guys, there's a lot that we need to talk about because this week is filled with updates and we're walking out of a week where there were a lot of things that were going on and I don't want to, you know, not give you guys all of those details. I do want to start off with like giving, I know there's a lot of new followers lately or new people that are joining into the Body Vibe Tribe, so welcome. I welcome you guys with big open arms and I'm so happy to have you. Um... But I do want to say that when I pull the chart, I also simultaneously open myself up for my intuition to be activated and I will write down um, messages that it is that I receive and the things that it is that I feel, which you'll see right here, and also notes that I want to make sure that I cover as far as dates and stuff because I'm constantly pulling charts, I'm constantly looking at different dates and sometimes those dates and those numbers get jumbled. But I do want to start off really quickly first with an intuitive message. The witchiest darling says, I'm new here. Welcome, babe. It's so good to see you. Tropical Rain 16 says, hi, Jess. Hey, what's up, girl? What's up? What's up? Okay. So it's crazy because I pulled the chart and had my hunches on that. And then I meditated and then I got additional messages that supported what was going on in the chart. So I love that. But um, before... I go into the astrology chart and we do uh, the week ahead, I want to talk first and foremost about this message that it is that I received because I am hoping that it vibes with you guys, that it makes sense and that it hits the nail on the head because I don't want to have to rush through it. And I don't want you guys to have to wait until the very end, although I really recommend that you stay until the end of this video if you can. Um, in order to gain all of the information of what we can expect this week because this week is now outside of there's a day that is going to be lucky beyond belief that I'll tell you about moving well we'll talk but there's other there's the Gemini full moon there's the Neptune's going direct which uh, no one's talking about that on the internet why is that everyone's talking about Mercury retrograde everyone's talking about Venus retrograde but no one's talking about Neptune that's been uh, retrograde and making things real weird and cloggy and foggy for the since like June no one's talking about that but me <laughs> whatever I don't mind but um, so there's a lot of things that we need to cover but I want to start off by talking about this one intuitive message that came through Clara Ocean says which day you have to wait Clara I'm gonna keep you on the edge of your seat, girlfriend. I'm sorry, I hate to do it, but one thing at a time. If I could just work verbally download everything that it is that I have in my head and just send it over to you, just transfer it over to you guys immediately, I would love that, but you have to wait. Uh, okay, so there's a lot going on, and just make sure, like, if you have to, I hope you guys have pens and paper and notepads or recorder or whatever the case is. I welcome you to record this. I welcome you to share it on your Instagram. I set the intention beforehand that any message that it is that I receive is hits the right person at the right time, and I don't know who this is for or what is going on in your life or how this applies, but this is what came through. So, and I believe that if you, sh not, and I'm not saying this to like promote myself, but I believe that if you share it with a friend or if a friend pops up in your head, then that's the person that needs to hear it and you don't even realize what people are going through or what they're thinking or what's going on in their heart or 
the confirmation that they need to hear, the affirmation, and that's the biggest thing that I want you guys to write down is affirmation. What is it that you are affirming? What is it that you are saying over and over and over again in your words that you're saying to your friends, the words that you're saying to your family, when you're complaining, when you're happy, when you're rejoicing, when you're speaking things into existence, whether it be good or evil, what is it that you are affirming? And actually, let me go ahead and Google what that means. Actually, let's ask Google. Hey, Google. Define affirm. Here's the definition of affirm. State as a fact. Assert strongly and publicly. Okay. So Google says it's to state something as a, as a fact and to assert something strongly and firmly. So that means that this is what I know to be true. This is what it is. I'm affirming it. This is the reality. This is what I believe. This is what I accept. This is who I am. But whatever it is, what is it that you are affirming? Because our words, and you guys know this, I'm not telling you anything you don't already know yet, but our words are magic spells. Our words are things that we are using to co-create. We are either creating this incredible magical experience or we're staying in this stagnant negative space that we just can't seem to dig ourselves out of because we refuse to change our circumstances by at least changing the things that it is that we say. And that's one thing that really stood out to me is what is it that we are affirming every day? And that means when you call your friends or there's nothing wrong with you you know, word vomiting is what I like to call and getting things off of your chest. But be very careful through that when you are, you can tell someone like, I'm feeling this way, you know, this is what's been going on. But at the very end, when you have said and you've said all these things off of your heart, then at least at the end of it, when you've released, because it's good for you to release and to be honest with that, it's time for you then to assert something that is actually what you're welcoming in. So let's say you're just like, you know what, this week has been so tough. I had this um, rejection. I had this opportunity that was missed. I, you know, this didn't happen. I just don't know what's going to happen. Like blah, blah, blah. Like whatever it is that you're going through at the end, or I'm so frustrated. I'm so sad. I'm so disappointed. I'm so angry. I'm so happy, whatever. Then at the very end of that conversation, if, the, if you're gonna leave it at that, put a period and say, but you know what, this is what I want to happen in my life. This is what I accept. This is what I'm trying to attract in. This is what I'm attracting. I know I just spent all that time talking about what is making me disappointed, but this is what I would like the situation to look like. So you are word vomiting and you're releasing this, but at the same time, you are affirming at the end that this is what I accept and that's what we're focusing on. And you leave on that note. So that's one thing. The other thing, and this blows my mind because all of 2018, <clears throat> pardon me, all of 2018, I have never promised that we were gonna be manifesting anything. I could see from the jump that 2018 was going to challenge us and challenge our globe and challenge our world as we know it our society, our relationships. I could see this, all of this friction that was going to be happening. And that's, you guys hear me say time and time again, work with the planets, don't work against them. When the rest of the world was saying, oh my gosh, we have this positive aspect that's going on. I was like, okay, yes, this positive aspect is happening, but at the same time we have this, this, and this. And this positive aspect could actually spark that. And that's when we started seeing like the, the fires going off in California. That week, all of the astro all of the um, astrology world was saying that, and I hate to like, I'm not bragging about this, but I'm just telling you guys for educational purposes that a positive placement does not always promise a positive result. It can be the trigger to spark something, and we'll talk about that later. But anyways, um, when when these placements were happening, they kind of strike a match that can create a catalyst in your life, in your world, in our environment, and that's what it is that we we're seeing last week, and that's what we've been seeing all this year. But now, now I'm really starting to see a change as we move and as we prepare to move into 2019. I don't know where this is or why this is coming through. I don't know if it's because Jupiter is now direct. I don't know if it's because the only planet currently at this moment that is retrograde is of uh, the personal planets is Mercury. I'm not really sure what it is, but when I'm looking at the chart, what it is that I'm seeing is a shift and a break. Because of the circumstances that have brought us up uh, up until this point, starting with this week. 
and I don't, my, my intuition is kind of telling me that it's going to happen around the Gemini full moon. Now, as I say that out loud, I am fucking terrified. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Now, terrified is probably not the right word, but I'm very nervous about the Gemini full moon. Again, there's going to be people and the internet, there are some positive aspects to it, but there's an aspect, there's a lot to it that has me very, very nervous. I don't think that it's going to be something negative, but I think that it can be emotionally, um, triggering. I feel like it can be most emotionally like stirring and I don't know how that's going to play out for some people. It really is like flipping a coin. It could either be positive or and by positive I mean it could feel something that feels good or it can feel bad. It can feel difficult. It can trigger emotional um, feelings. So that's something that I really want you guys to be aware of. But either way I'm seeing what my intuition is telling me is that mid mid of this week is when we're going to start seeing this kind of like catalyst or kind of breakthrough and again I, I see it it would make sense because the full moon is on the 23rd but I'm I'm thinking that like the 21st the 22nd the 23rd I'm looking at my calendar is when we're going to start to see this kind of like breakthrough I don't know if it's going to be in the world in the globe if it's going to be in the news Gemini rules news and information so it could be something that we hear it could be something that we see it could be this like great aha awakening moment now that Jupiter's moved into the sign of Sagittarius Jupiter sits directly opposite this this am I saying new moon I mean to say full moon I'm so sorry you guys I don't know like I've been I was writing an article for the new moon earlier I'm so sorry what I mean to say is full moon it's the full moon but, but what I am saying is this new breakthrough territory. So it's like my, my brain is running a mile a minute right now because there's a lot of stuff that is that I want to talk to you guys about. Um, yeah, when someone said just now rains and in California, it's tough because we would want to see like actual fertile, like you can predict like the weather when it comes to astrology and it's so much of the planets right now are, are lit up by fire, fire signs and air. And that's not a good recipe. And then for for putting out these fires right now, it's, it's kind of like scary. I haven't checked since the last day, so I don't know what's going on. I can only look at what's going on in the charts. It's just, it's a lot. It really is like flipping a coin. I don't know how this is going to play out. I don't know how this is going to manifest. I just know that we're building up to something. But what I will say, not to spook you guys, but I want to be honest, that because again, you'll be, you'll hear it first because that week people are gonna say, and this is the day. So Sun conjunct Jupiter is nearing really, really close to that. Now Sun represents life energy, our ego, our central force. The Sun is the center of our universe. Jupiter represents expansion, abundance. Jupiter just recently moved into Sagittarius. Everyone is so excited about that and I can totally understand why. But at the same time, Jupiter and Sun, if it's not, positively aspected by other planets, it can actually cause a problem that I, I'm i just mindful of. I'm like really, I the full moon, I'm actually having my shop update on the 22nd. And meaning like my shop for the store opens up on the 22nd. And that's because 1122 is my power number. But at the same time, 1122 has always been symbolic for me. It's number 22 is my master number and that's you know, my number personally, like my, my life path number here while I'm here on earth and it makes a lot of sense. But whenever I see 1122, I know that it's a catalyst. I'm opening up my shop, but at the same time, it's right around that time that I feel like something is gonna fucking happen. And then, and then you have the new moon and I just feel like we're either gonna hear news, we're gonna receive something, like we're gonna see something in your personal life, maybe the world, I just am, you know, again, speaking your words, like the words that you use, make sure that what you are saying that you're affirming this week is like literally make sure that every word that you speak, I don't care how crazy this weekend was for you or how crazy this 2018, my year of 2018 has tested me beyond belief. I was talking to my friend about this last night. I was had the highest of highs and I've had the lowest of lows. And it tested me, it pushed me, it really like, you know, this is one of the, the most, I'll always look back at 2018, I'll never forget this year. I will never forget this year for everything that has happened to me in this year, but I wouldn't trade it for the world. But I don't care what has happened to you throughout all of 2018, for this week, be so mindful and aware of what it is that you are speaking and what it is that you are saying 
because this the energy is like building up it's like this little vortex i know everyone was looking at 11 11 of 2018 and saying that that day was this energy vortex it was for me i felt it and it was emotional like that's how i felt it and you know i wish i would have spent more time just kind of like grounding myself and pulling back versus me kind of that's my own personal regret because i feel like some things could have changed a little differently but outside of that 11 22 is one of those days that you know, it's just all around this energy, all around this day, you know, it's, 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 it's going to be interesting to see and I want to see you guys, you know, leave your updates and let me know. I'm going to save this video and put it up on my YouTube. You can find my YouTube at Bahati Life, YouTube Bahati Life. So just search Bahati Life and you'll be able to re revisit and comment down below. Also realize that this is a non-judgment zone. No one's judging you. We're all you know, the same type of people talking about the same type of love and light and energy and positivity. So we're more supported than anything. You sharing your experiences with our community is going to help all of us to grow and help us all to connect. And me as an astrologer, I'm doing research. So just go ahead and share your experiences after that. And I'm going to post this video, this live chat on, on, on um, the YouTube channel. But what I will say is that um, I wrote this down. Whatever it is that you are currently working on is now being completed. Whatever it is that you are currently working on is what is now coming to completion. Now, this has nothing to do with the fact that we are ending like this year. We're nearing the end of this year and we're starting 2019. It's just the energy has been just coincidentally the energy is kind of folding up and revealing and I almost see this happening around the 22nd to 23rd so what is it that you have been focusing on this terrifies me because there's something that it is that I have been setting intention for and they've been manifesting in my life currently and there have but on both sides I signed the lease to my dream apartment but there's other things that had me worried that I was talking about, that I was expressing, and guess what? They manifested themselves, and I know better. But I'm human being, I learned from the lesson, and when you know better, you do better. You do different when you move forward in the future. I'll never make the same mistakes that it is I did in the past. I'm gonna do things differently now. So, and because I'm gonna do things differently, I'm gonna get a different result. I'm gonna get the results that it is that I deserve, the results that it is, the results that it is that I'm wanting, that I desire, and the same is true for you. But the word, the sentence that came through is whatever it is that you are currently focusing on is what it is that is coming to completion. And I feel like the, the around the full moon is when you're going to see it happening. Mark my words. What terrifies me is I want you guys to be very aware. There's some things that you can control and there's some things that you cannot control. You can't control what other people are focusing on. You can't control what other people are manifesting in their lives or what they want or you can't control certain opportunities. But what you can control is what it is that you are currently focusing on. And that means that you have to speak that into existence step step after step after step after step every single day do not speak anything less than what it is that you deserve I don't if you're sad journal it and then end it on that same note which is yes this is what I'm going through now but this is what I want this is what I am bringing into my life this is what I accept this is what I desire this is what I know about myself this is what I wish to receive I am receiving this. I am ready for this. I am prepared for this. So uh, if you have to release, if you have, if you and I have a reading and we're booked, that's booked together and we're going to talk and talk about things that are going on in your life, don't worry about telling me the truth and the facts of what it is that's been going on in your life currently with your relationship, with your career, with your dreams, with whatever. But like go ahead and tell me all those things that way I know that way I can help you even further but at the end of our conversation at the end of our reading we're gonna end it with an affirmation that's going to change the outcome to better match what it is that you ultimately desire because that's how you're supposed to use tarot and that's how you're supposed to use astrology you could see the energy around you and when you could see that energy then you can then work it to to create a change to manifest something that is like it is that else that it is that you want now I just saw the word clarity and clarify and it's interesting that you bring that up because Mars is not clear. Mercury is retrograde. Mercury rules the mind. Mercury rules communication. And Mercury is currently retrograde, so the mind is a little unfocused. But even more reason for you to pay attention to the words that it is that you use, what you say, and who you're saying them to. Um, the other thing, too, is Mars is not clear. Mars is not clear because Mars is currently moving through the sign of Pisces. Mars is, if you want a metaphor for Mars, Mars is taking a bow and an arrow 
locking it in, pulling it back, and shooting it forward. And the environment that it is that Mars is rocketing through is the sign that it's currently transiting. And in this case, it's moving through Pisces. And it has been for the last like two to three weeks. Pisces is the, the, the planet that rules illusion to infinity and beyond in a good way. But the thing is, is that Mars is like distracted and getting blown this way. And it seems like you're going down the straight line, but in reality, that path is not clear and it's foggy and then you kind of derail so it's tough to kind of find your footing and your grounding as Mars is moving to the sign of Pisces so what I want you guys to do is to not rely on your logic because your logic is and your action is cloudy AF there's no way that right now, especially with everything in turmoil right now, Venus was retrograde for so long, challenging relationships, challenging commitment, challenging beauty, challenging aesthetic, challenging your money, challenging love. Venus was retrograde for how long and only just we recently went direct? And then Mercury on the 16th, that was last week. Mercury just went retrograde as his sister, Venus, went uh, direct. So now Mercury, the planet that rules communication, the planet that rules focus, is cloudy and can't make good judgment calls. At the same time, he wants to see the entire world. He can't see the detail. He's missing the fine print. He's looking at from a bigger picture, but he can't see the bigger picture clear because he's making an emotional reaction. Well, and by emotional, it's like, well, I'm logically approaching this. I'm approaching this from a logical perspective, so what you end up doing is you end up shooting yourself in the foot. That's the reality because the planets that want to charge forward are all in flux. So logic is not is not supported right now because the planets are not logically or like they're not connected to um, like this is yes and this is no. And this is something that it is that I have to understand in my life as well because for me so much sometimes feels like all or nothing. And that's because fifth house, my fifth house is ruled by Pluto. <laughs> And Pluto is very intense and very passionate, and it really is sometimes all or nothing. It's either yes or no. But that's the other thing that it is that I wrote down is, um, oh, oh, okay. Um, there, if not everything is yes or no, there's another answer. And that's crazy to me because, you know, it kind of almost is a little bit black and white where, well, not black and white, but there, there's a lot of our lives in a lot of ways. There's like this gray area, but it, we're kind of like navigating through this area right now. And there's so much that seems to be foggy. What it is, okay, the other thing that I wrote down is ask for help to bring it forward. Don't try to bring this these things forward all by yourself. Ask for help. That means that you're connecting with friends or you're connecting with family or you're connecting with your angels, your guides, someone who is an intuitive, someone who is gifted in some way, shape, or another, ask for your friends. Don't do this stuff by yourself because you need to ask for other people's input Input in order to give you a better grasp on reality for yourself. And don't, don't, let, don't let it be a friend who just listens and agrees with what it is that you're saying. Have it be a friend that is honest and will challenge your thinking and will tell you, look, I don't know if this is a good decision for you. I don't know if this is the right thing or perhaps they're having an emotional reaction. Maybe take all these things into consideration before you make the final call because when Gemini, the Gemini full moon comes, there's something that does want to come to completion. There's something that does want to reveal itself, but we wanna make sure that whatever it is that we're asserting or whatever it is that we're affirming is something that is actually in alignment with what it is that we truly, truly want for ourselves. Thank you guys so much for the hearts in the side of the corner. I can see those and I love them so much and I really appreciate that. Authentic Kiki said, I have no friends. Girl, I'm offended because I thought we were friends. <laughs> You're so funny. We're all friends. You're in a circle right now with over almost 400 people and all these people are your friends and you're saying you have no friends. Girl, you have friends, okay? I'm your best friend. I am telling you what to do with your life, girl. You're welcome. We're best friends. <laughs> you're so funny. Um, yeah, so the other thing too is this is crazy because what I'm seeing is and what I wrote down is you know what is best for you. You know what is best for you. And this is something that is going to defy logical explanation. This is something that is going to defy all reason. 
everything, all of the signs are going to point you in one direction because this is what you are accustomed to. This is what you know. But just because this is what you know and what you're accustomed to does not guarantee the results of what it is that you, your heart truly desires and what your heart truly wants. And a lot of times, the things that it is that your heart truly wants is the one thing that is going to freak you the fuck out and is going to make you the most uncomfortable. It's not gonna make sense to you. This is why it's really important for other people, for you to reach out to other people and ask them to almost kind of like, what is your opinion on this? Like, what do you think when this is what it is that's been going on, this is what's been happening, what is your perspective on that? And let them challenge and give their perspective because they, they'll bring a different perspective than you just staying in your head and trying to figure things out. Don't let it be the friend who just listens to you. There's nothing wrong with those friends. We all have them, hopefully. like. Or it's nice to have those friends that you can call them and they'll be like, yeah, I can see that. But they'll, if you say, yeah, you know, fuck this, then they'll be like, yeah, fuck that. You deserve better. Or if you say, I love this so much, then they'll be like, yeah, well, try. Try to make it, you know, do whatever it is that you can. You know, look on the positive side. It's like that friend that kind of folds based upon what it is that you're thinking. You need to find the friend or the person that is emotionally removed or distant that will help you to like come to an actual conclusion based upon the truth of their perspective and they need to bring their perspective and they need to challenge you um if you're waiting for news this is around the time when you're probably going to hear it i just heard someone say um I, i'm waiting for news i'm waiting to hear back on a job you most likely will hear from it but also you might have to poke and prod because mercury is retrograde they might still be having a difficult time with making up their mind a lot of people are right now again like i said it's mars on the bow and arrow kind of aiming shoot and fire it's trying to move forward but again the environment that it's moving forward is kind of lost and murky and an illusion it's like kind of moving through like a fun house where there's mirrors you think it's the exit and then you hit the mirror and then you turn this way and you go this way and you hit the mirror and then you got to turn this way so and then mercury retrograde again is like news information making decisions making that final call so everything is kind of up in flux at this moment and um you know, if you're waiting to hear back on news or something like that, Gemini rules, Gemini is ruled by Mercury. Gemini is the full moon. So Mercury is retrograde. The energy of Mercury is kind of flipped, like flipping and kind of weird. So it'll be, it's like, it really is like flipping a coin to see what it is that's going to happen and, and whatever. It just makes me nervous, but we'll talk about the full moon in just a second. The practical escape just says Mercury retrograde, Mercury, Mercury, like that's actually really good. Mercury, murky, murky AF. Saturn X says, this made me more confused on what to do. It's okay, babe, just take a moment and meditate and you know what to do at the end of the day, but just, you know, we'll talk, we'll talk as we go forward. I don't wanna, you know, uh, get distracted or anything like that. The other thing that I wanna tell you guys is to be really, really open to the unthinkable. And this makes me nervous again. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm I'm a little nervous for the full moon. I don't know if it's it's just I as an astrologer and as an intuitive, I'm like, what is on the horizon? What do we have here? And I hope I I mean, again, you can control what it is that you can control, but I <clears throat> I just you know. It's just time. <laughs> I'll say that. Whatever that means to you, it's just time. So, yeah. Um, the other thing is that when you are setting intention and when you're moving through this week, don't settle for less. Again, you know, our brains, it almost seems like we're trying to make this decision. It's either one or it's the other. But what I'm seeing is, what is in the middle? What is it here? Someone said, just say it, Jess, I can't. Because I just, this new moon, this full moon, I keep saying new moon because it's new energy and I was just writing an article on the new moon. But it just makes me uncomfortable and it makes me a little nervous. If you're asking me to say what it is that I'm feeling, I feel a little uncomfortable with the full moon. I'll be um, on with my family. It's gonna be happening on Thanksgiving, so around that time, the 23rd, 22nd, 21st, Saturday, Sunday, I'm just, I'm just wary. I'm like, 
I'm like, what is it that's, you know, going to pop up? Like, and it, that's the other thing too. Uranus, you can't really, exp you can't predict the planet Uranus, you know? It's, it, it could be the surprise of your life and just like, oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting you to hear this. I didn't know that you were feeling this way. I didn't know that this is what you were thinking. I didn't know that this existed. I didn't know that this could happen. So it could be that, or it could be like, oh my God, I didn't know that you were thinking that. I didn't know that you were doing that. I didn't know that this could happen. <laughs> It's like the same words, only different, a different vibe to it, a different meaning behind it. So, and again, like that's the energy, that's that's astrology in a nutshell. It says, this is what we see you saying, but there's different ways that that energy can manifest itself. So that's what it is I'm seeing. That's why I'm like, all we need to do right now is focus on, you know, the not the positive, but focus on what it is that you are, like, you're trying to complete. Focus on what it is that you are trying to manifest. And anything less than that needs to be instantly cut out. It needs to be instantly kind of thrown, thrown off to the side because it doesn't need, it's like, if the universe throws you a grenade, a hand grenade, don't hold on to it and be like, well, how do you turn it off? <laughs> like, where's the button that you pull to turn it off? Like, don't fucking try and figure out. Just throw that shit over there. Like, why are you still holding on to it? Throw it over there. Anyways, um, so that's kind of what I'm, I'm seeing here. Um, oh, okay, so what I'm seeing again is being really clear on, not being clear, but what is it that you truly want and realize outside of the fact that you are worthy but the universe will give more to you than what it is that you currently are allowing yourself to accept and that's kind of like knowing your worth and knowing what you value and speaking it into existence and also realizing that there is no things that should limit you there's nothing that should hold you back in any way shape or form that was one thing that i that i wrote down with that somehow connected to the energy of this week and that is, what more can you ask for? There's no limits to you. Refuse to settle. Demand, demand, why did I write down demand the same and don't settle for less? Why demand the same? I don't know why I wrote that down. Um, and then also be mindful of your words. Every word is an affirmation. What are you affirming? Speak your desires into the being. Oh, this week again, I spoke my worries. My worries manifested. Um, we all have weaknesses. That's the other thing too. None of us are all positive. Myself, none of us are all perfect. And myself included, even as an astrologer, I can see what it is that I'm walking into. And as a Virgo, I will worry. I will overthink. I will overcomplicate. I will you know, clam up as far as my words that I'm speaking, my intention and those types of things and just muck myself up. Mercury's currently retrograde, be right back. Gonna go make some mistakes, you know, saying some things, doing some stuff, making some decisions I shouldn't have, you know what I mean? So it's just taking your time to think before you make a decision, before you assert something, before you affirm something all of this week because the energy is in flux, it is changing, it is weird, it is wacky. The other thing too is, this actually makes sense now that I'm saying it out loud, but Neptune goes direct on the 24th and it's been retrograde since June 18th of 2018. Yeah, June 18th of 2018. Now, Neptune rules illusion and fantasy, but also the soulmate, also, uh, idealism, creativity, expression, artistic connections, um, spirituality. So Neptune rules all of these things. And when Neptune was retrograde, this is when a lot of those things kind of highlighted, but they can make you cloudy, they can make you foggy, they can paint this illusion, this fantasy over your eyes and make it difficult depending on what planets are being aspected, depending on what Neptune is aspect, aspecting at that moment in time. So when Merc when Neptune goes re direct, which is going to happen on the 24th, mark your calendars on this, but the thing is is that Mercury, why do I keep saying Mercury? Oh my God, this is Mercury fucking with me right now. Like I'm trying to communicate and I'm having a hard time. Neptune, Neptune is huge. It's this big gaseous planet that's floating in our cosmos as we speak. And nothing is what it seems, it's all an illusion. It's, you know, again, it's this fun house. And because it's so large, when, Mer when Neptune goes direct, it takes a long time to kind of pick its energy back up. And even then it's like, it's like that weird, like, like, where am I? Like, who are we? What are we doing? 
is that you? I can't tell if it's you or not. And everything's just like drugged up a little bit. And that's kind of, that's one thing too that I really want you guys to be careful of is, you know, being very mindful of how you're drinking, being mindful of the drugs that you're using because a lot of things are not what they seem right now. And what could be one limit for you, one moment is now you're super hypersensitive and you can't tell the twilight zone. You're right, you guys are saying the twilight zone. You're right, we're living in the twilight zone as we speak. That's so obvious with like, the things that it is that we didn't think could happen are currently happening, which is a good thing and a bad thing. So if you know that, then make sure that you are speaking into existence you know, these good positive things that it is that currently what it is that you want. But Neptune is because it goes direct officially on the 24th, you have we have to keep in mind and we have to count um, factor in the reality that although it goes direct to 24th, these planets don't go ahead and go dun -dun 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 -dun. like they don't pull like a Mario and boop, 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 boop. like they don't just like completely upgrade instantly. It's more like a process same thing with mercury so things right now are very in flux decisions should not be made late last week over this weekend into this week because they're not you know not everything is what it is that you as it as it seems things are going to change things are going to be different even as Venus is direct now Venus ruling relationships and she's finally gaining her strength she's sitting in the sign of Libra she can't even make, Venus is so comfortable in the sign of Libra, but the thing is, is that Libra doesn't know what it wants. How many of you Libras actually know what you want? You don't, When and that's reality. I'm telling you about yourself. Now, everybody has strengths and weaknesses. I told you about me as a Virgo. My weaknesses are I overthink things. I worry about everything. I'm a hypochondriac. I say things too much. I look into the fine details. I miss the larger picture. I, I'm a perfectionist. I'm critical. I come across as a bitch. I have permanent resting bitch face all the time because that's I'm a Virgo, and that just comes with the territory of being a Virgo. But you Libras, y'all never know what you want. You'll be sitting on the fence, and you're like, do I want this? Do I want this? The grass is greener. On this side you always want to be romanced and even if somebody's romancing you is it ever truly enough it's not you guys consume you consume you consume and that's what Venus moving through Libra is doing right now even though she's just recently direct she still like doesn't know what she wants love relationships are still taking time this week to repair themselves before they finally get strong again why would you make a decision on anything involving anything involving your money involving your budget involving your appearance love relationships partnerships anything like that it's a no-go it's a no-fly zone half of the decisions that are made during this time you're gonna live to regret it mark my words it's not what it is that it seems it's not what it is that it seems in fact if it was you still have mars which rules our action which rules your ambition which rules your drive fucking your flow up left and right you want to know why because mars again is moving through this fun house and it's trying to shoot forward it has a goal it thinks it knows what it is that it wants because it's hearing these messages from everyone else mars is like what is it that we all decided planets what did you guys decide okay this is what we decided cool let's move forward psych no, because now Mars is trying to move forward with these confusing messages that the rest of the planets are, are giving him. And he's like, wait, I can't see, but I gotta, I've got a goal. I've got something that I need to do. Like I have a responsibility and I'm gonna carry this forward. And I'm always strong. I'm Mars, I'm masculine. I know what I want. I'm a man. <laughs> I know what I want. But in reality, it's like, but you're stuck in a fun house, dude. Good luck trying to figure your way out of that. And then we're gonna turn the lights off and we're gonna turn the disco lights on and then it's gonna be like a little fun house and it's gonna really fuck with your brain. Good luck with that, you wanna know why? Because Neptune is now direct and all of that stuff is getting kicked up. So now we have a disco house. And Mars is like, I don't even know anymore. But he's still trying, stop. <sighs> feel kind of hot right now um yes so now let's talk about okay wait the other thing too is on the 22nd which is Thursday the Sun moves into the sign of Sagittarius we're building up to this new moon I'm sorry we're building up to this full moon mercury retrograde you guys I'm sorry but <laughs> 
Um, she said, Jibby says, girl, I'm barely lifting the pen off my notepad to comment. You are on fire. I'm just, there's so much that I have to tell you. Like, there's so much. And the other thing, too, is it's not going to impact just this week. This will impact the rest of your fucking life, man. That's why you want to be careful. Just be very careful. Be very mindful about what it is that you're doing because it's just not all that it seems. That's why I'm, like, so hesitant. I'm like, what do we have? What are we dealing with, Like, You know, the 23rd, the 22nd, the 21st. It's kind of nerve-wracking. 24th it could at the same time it could bring in incredible abundance it could bring in an incredible opportunity um i just expect the unexpected i don't know if it's is he what i wrote down is unexpected splits and or unexpected gains so it's like unexpected this got cut out or it could be this came through so it's really tough to kind of see i'm seeing breakups breakdowns um, hearing news all on the full moon. This Gemini, Gemini, you guys, is notorious. Like, holler if you hear me. Like, let me know. But Gemini, what is your experience with Gemini? Because Gemini does bring in information. I mean, that's what he does. He's like the hunter and gatherer of the Zodiac. Meaning, like, he's like, I'm searching for information. What do you have over there? What do you have over here? Da -da 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 -da. Like, he's very active. And he's he's been spacing through and kind of, like, spinning but the thing is, is that his rotation is kind of like wobbly. So I don't know what Gemini, the Gemini full moon is going to be picking up and then throwing at us. And that's the thing too, is that the full moon is always, full moons always heighten our emotion. Everything gets exposed. Everything gets revealed. If there's something that was hidden, this is when it comes to the surface. And I'm just nervous. I'm nervous because I don't know what we're going to hear. I don't know what we're going to see and I know that it's going to be information and I'm just hoping that the information is something that is you know positive, something that it is that we want to hear versus it being like wow. Wow. And that's what Uranus can do is you just don't know like you don't know what to expect with it. And, you're, and the thing is that's making me concerned. Let me make sure I'm looking at the right chart. I am. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I just... Okay, here we go. What's making me concerned is the fact that Mars, again, moving through the sign of Pisces, um, is squaring this, this full moon. And Mars squaring the full moon becomes reactive because this is, this triggered me, now I'm a punch in the face, or this triggered me, now I need to act. So I'm, I'm just nervous. <laughs> and the other thing too is that Mars squares off with Jupiter. Now, I've seen some of the astrologers that I respect and that I admire because of their publicity and because of their exposure. I've seen, I've seen and I've heard them promise this full moon to be something very enlightening and very positive. And I, with all due respect, I have to challenge it. Even when I was growing up, these same people that I looked towards for guidance and that I learned from in some ways, I'm now in this moment at, in my life, I'm challenging their theory that this, new, this full moon is going to be all that they say that it is because I'm looking at the chart and I don't see the same thing. It's, it really is like flipping the coin. I don't know. And that's the other thing too. Jupiter, because it's Jupiter, it doesn't always promise this positive, fun-loving, optimistic outcome. It can really take things and blow them up and light them ablaze. It can really take it to the next level. And the sun sits directly, almost directly on top of Jupiter and is nearing Jupiter. In fact, that should be around the luckiest day of the year, but we'll see what happens. That's why I'm like, make sure that what you're focusing on is something that is constructive and positive versus um, something that you fear or something that you don't want. You have to have a, some sense of control in this, especially when it comes to your emotions, what you're feeling, what you're intuitively sensing, which is different than what it is that you're feeling. Emotional feelings are different than intuitive feelings, and I want to like make that clear. And then also, at the end of the day, what is that you're saying? Making sure that what you're saying is in alignment with ultimately what it is that you're trying to manifest. And I have to remind myself of that every day because I've been complaining a lot lately. I've just been worried. I have the move and you know, the shop update and, you know, other things going on in my life that are not, 
like game change. They're not like, you know, life or death situations, but they're like things that you worry about, things that you're like, I don't know what to expect here. Hold on, you guys, I have to plug my phone in and I, um, yeah, I can see you guys talking about periods and stuff. That's because we've got some, um, we've got some riffraff in here, I'm sure. Well, we're top live again, of course. It's Monday night and we are top live. Um, yeah, so the moon squaring off with Mars again creates this emotionally reaction and Mars in general, like, you know, it doesn't know where it's going and it doesn't know what it's doing. You have to rely more on your intuition. Again, not everything is what it is that it seems outside of the fact that Venus, I'm sorry, outside of the fact that Mercury is currently retrograde, clouding our judgment. The other thing is the fact that, um, you know, again, Mars and Mars moving through um, Neptune, um, or Mars moving through Pisces, Neptune being retrograde, now moving direct, all of these things are kind of in flux. And then factor in Gemini, that's the Gemini energy that's been gathering information. Gemini and Mercury in the Zodiac, this is that sign that's almost like, I don't wanna say the gossip, but it's almost kind of sneaky. So you may think that you're doing things under the radar, but the planets know all, you know what I mean? Like the energy knows what you're doing. It knows your intention. It knows what you've been working on. So what I'm almost seeing is gem this mercurial energy that's been connecting with all of these planets. It's almost like Mercury is that planet that sits down at the lunch table in high school and sits down at one table and listens to y'all talking about gossip here and then he scurries over here and then he's like yeah and he's hears you talking about so and so but he never says anything and then he comes over here and he listens over on this side and listens to what they're saying and he's getting all of this information just by poking his head think about if you're in this like community center and it's a small community center, it's a small village, and everybody goes to the village market. Mercury is that little kid that no one notices, but hears everything. And then he gets that information, and then he walks over here, and he's getting his groceries or whatever, and he's getting his produce, and he's listening to someone talking about someone else that was just talking about someone else, and he's gaining all this information. Now, Gemini, like Blessed Locke says, Gemini, you sneaky bastard. <laughs> Gemini is not always notoriously sneaky like that, but that's the vibe that it is that I'm getting as I'm looking at the chart. It's almost like Mercury has all this year has picked up information from different sources. And Mercury is holding on to all of these messages and all of this information, receipts is what we call them in 2018. Mercury is about to bring the receipts. I'm just concerned what those receipts are gonna look like and how it's going to impact you, how it's gonna impact your life, how it's gonna make you feel. Um, I don't see it being like, you know, if you're, let's say you're being a sneaky bastard, then you could have information revealed on you. So you always wanna make sure that you're doing good things, you're always doing positive things, that you're not being a, an asshole. What happened with this curl? Why did that just fall out like that? I'm sorry, guys. So hard having natural hair sometimes. I'm sure my naturalistas know, like, your hair does what it wants. Like, my hair tells me what to do. I don't tell it what to do. If my hair says, look, boo, you need to do a wash and go day, I say, say no more. Whatever you say. Um, you know, you call the shots. I'm not going to fight you. <laughs> if, if my hair says, look, I don't mind you straightening me today. I don't mind you putting me up in a bun. Then I'm like, okay, say no more. I will do that if that's what you want to do. Or if I want to part my hair one way, okay, nope. Whatever you say, natural hair, naturalista, if you have to part this way, I'm not gonna fight you. I don't care if there's a little hair that's sticking up over here. I don't care if it doesn't make sense. I have to listen to my hair. My hair tells me what to do. I don't tell it what to do. Who is texting me? Oh, cool, it's my movers. I can't believe I'm moving tomorrow. Wow. I've been so scared about this move. Like, I'm like, well, it's something that I've been wanting, but I'm so nervous about it. So send me, send me guys like good vibes. I feel like what I'm doing is, and this is exactly what it is that I'm doing. I'm walking into completely uncharted territory for me. I'm going my way. I'm going my path. I'm making decisions that are right for me. 
and I have been doing it, but I'm watching all of it fall into place. And as much as I am a manifester, as much as I set intention, as much as I work my magic, as much as I follow my intuition, I'm a human being, you guys, and I am like, not nervous or second guessing it, but I'm scared and that's okay. That's a natural reaction to feel scared when you're going into uncharted territory. And I just, you know, again, it's crazy too. Like maybe this is a part of a message that I need to hear, but you know, it's almost like this new beginning in my life. And you know, I just, I'm just trying, you know, to, you know, build the life of my dreams. And the more that I'm able to do that, the more I feel like I can inspire other people to do it and to take those leap of faith, to wait for perfect timing. I'm always pulling the chart to see, okay, when is the right time? And then that's when I make my move. So I am moving in alignment with the planets and I feel that, but at the end of the day, sometimes it's just scary, you know? And it's just like, oh my God just wild like life is meant to be wild life is meant to be lived and I am tr I'm living it <laughs> and it's you know it's definitely I'm lucky I'm lucky to do what I love I'm lucky to have people around me you know that have non-stop supported me even in moments where I feel like like a, just a crazy fireball my friends know me like I can rage like no other and there's other moments where I have that I'm you know just you know profound and deep and just still still waters and just a sense of calm for others but oh my gosh yeah the other thing that I want to talk to you guys about thank you so much for your love and your support I'm I'm looking at your comments and um, and after these uh, live chat is over I go back and I list I read you guys comments when I'm lying in my bed I'm sipping the rest of my tea and stuff um, but yeah, definitely send me good vibes right now, please, you guys. Um, not that anything's like crazy, but I'm just, you know, I'm just doing a lot and, you know, I always put out good vibes for you guys, so I just ask that. <laughs> Queen Chicago says, affirm that you're excited, not scared. <laughs> I love you, babe. Thank you so much for checking me. Checking me before, I check, check myself before I wreck myself. Yeah, it, a lot of it is excitement. Most of it is excitement. But I also, my chart right now is also very faded. Like everything that is coming in is like super faded, which means like I couldn't fight it even if I wanted it to. I just have to be a little bit more open and in tune with my heart. I was talking with someone about this last night and um, not to derail, but I was talking about like setting intentions and like how, you know, the divine comes to you through your heart and speaks what you what you, you know, your heart's desires. And those things come from God, I personally believe. And if you tap into your heart, then you're tapping into essentially what God's will is for your life. And that's written within the astrology chart. God gives you, or the higher power, the divine, um, speaks into your life and gives you kind of like a compass of what it is that you can expect. And all those things are written in your chart. Your heart mirrors the chart. The chart mirrors your heart. So if you follow your heart and if you're honest and you're authentic with yourself, you should have no has you should have no problems with manifesting your destiny because and the desires of your heart because they're written for you but you just have to follow them all right oh my gosh we have two minutes i can't believe an hour flew by the other thing is i haven't packed i'm moving tomorrow i haven't packed anything so after this i'm going to be packing so i just ask that you guys send me good vibes and um send me good energy and just good luck to come my way um, and the other thing too is as you send that energy out, it comes back to you. So if, and I'm going to set the intention now that if you send me good vibes, that it instantly bounces back to you and we're just vibing and the good vibes that you send me come to you and the good vibes that we have here, just honestly, it's just love and light and blessing and abundance and, you know, your heart's desires. If I can do it, you can do it. Let's feed off of me. Feed off of me. I feed off of you and let's just build each other up because that's what it is that we, we, we should have, all right? Um, I am gonna be in Florida. I'm not gonna be accepting readings or meeting with people face to face unless we happen to bump into each other while I'm on the river, <laughs> while I'm shopping for tarot cards, while I'm meeting with other intuitives in Florida. I'm gonna be in Tampa, St. Pete area. I'm going to try to do a video, but I might not be able to. 
but this video will be up and I will because I won't be able to do a week ahead video on the YouTube channel I'll put all of the major points underneath this video so you can see that on Bahati Life YouTube so you can mark your calendars and be aware so make sure that you're following me on YouTube and then you turn on your notifications as soon as that video goes up thank you guys so much for the heartens for the loves it really means a lot to me but as soon as that video goes up you get an instant notification YouTube does not spam you if anything it does the very opposite but just make sure that you're aware and um, yeah we'll keep you in the loop oh my god so that's it you guys honestly honest mama says come to Tennessee I will I actually love the south that's why I'm in the south but I will hopefully all right you guys I love you so much I will see you in next astro live or on my Instagram bye